Welcome to the British Virgin Islands. It's made up of over 50 islands in the gorgeous Caribbean Sea. During our five-day stay, we experienced the hospitality, enjoyed beautiful vistas, resorts, tried delicious food, swam in the clearest water, and of course, tried a few painkillers. I'm Dina Perez, and I'm gonna show you why you need to visit the British Virgin Islands. There are a few ways you can get to the British Virgin Islands. You can fly into St. Thomas and take a ferry to pass customs, or you can fly into Puerto Rico and take a short 40 minute plane ride via Silver Airways or Cape Air to Beef Island Airport, EIS. Flew into Puerto Rico and flew Silver Airways to the British Virgin Islands. And because the BVI are made up of many islands, the most common way you'll get around is by boat. We had a transfer schedule to take us to our first resort, Saber Rock. This was about a 30 minute boat ride. It was windy, fun, bumpy ride, but the views were gorgeous. Saber Rock is located on a small island just off of Virgin Gorda. The whole resort takes up this island, which makes up for a really unique stay. We started our stay with some fresh rum punch and toured the property. Because of Hurricane Irma in 2017, this, re this resort had to be rebuilt from scratch. The design is gorgeous and the views can't be beat. Let me show you around the hotel. And this is the restaurant where we're gonna have dinner tonight. This is so beautiful. So we just checked into our room and it is super modern. I'll tell you the bathroom design is stunning. I'm obsessed with like these concrete walls and it leads right into the bedroom. King bed. This is where we are right now, literally on our own island. It is crazy cool. Our room actually is like one of these, this one right here. And we look over the sunset and it's just amazing. Sun has already set, so I'll show you the view tomorrow. The fridge, espresso machine, everything. And I'm loving the interior design. Sunny and I are in the British Virgin Islands. And to enter the British Virgin Islands, you need a negative COVID test, a vaccination, passport. The property itself is on an island, which you guys will see, but tiny island, there's like less than 20 rooms, 10 it's rooms. It's very, very quaint. And the bar and the restaurant are very popular with people who are on catamarans. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go have some dinner yes. and show you guys a beautiful property and our time in the British Virgin Islands. We had our first dinner downstairs at Saber Rock. We sat outside and took in the amazing views and tried delicious cuisine. The lobster bake, right? With the garlic oil. And this is the tuna tataki. Sashimi. The tuna sashimi. Wow, it looks really good. The shrimp curry with rice. The, the snapper dish. That looks good too. Good morning, a look at this view. I'm gonna grab my little coffee that I just made. Take a look outside. Wow, the view is stunning. Good morning, everyone. We started off this morning super well. We woke up to this stunning view. You can kind of see it in the reflection behind me. We are staying at Save a Rock, which is a small resort on its own island. I kind of showed you a bit yesterday. Eight rooms and a few suites, so it is a really small resort. The food here is incredible. The food is so good. We went to breakfast this morning really quickly, and then I did a yoga session with a massage and facial right after, so I'm feeling really amazing. It was a really unique experience. The spa here is amazing. The whoa, I had sound therapy, bamboo, and these warm shells that made it a really unique experience. It was kind of like hot stone, but she explained it a bit more here. So there's a whole different bunch of um, minerals and um, crushed up lava rock in there that retains the heat. So you put water in and it gets hot. So this is a real conch shell and this one's made from the broken ones and porcelain so they don't waste if they get broken during the opening to get the actual um, clam out. Wow. Um, they crush them up and use mix them with porcelain to make these ones too. So now we're going to hang out on the island. It's pretty small so we can do the whole thing in one day. We're going to just take in the sun, take some pictures because it's really fun like photo booths here and just taking in this incredible view. There's some burgers and fries and we have this incredible view.
So we just had lunch and now we're just taking in the sun. This resort, which is basically a hotel, food, bar, restaurant, is open to anyone who basically has a boat to get here. There's also a ferry you can take to get here and it was an iconic place to visit when you're visiting the British Virgin Islands. However, unfortunately, it was completely destroyed during the hurricane in 2017 so it is completely rebuilt and they just opened in October so it is brand new and a little map of the British Virgin Islands we flew in to Beef Island and then we took the boat all the way to Sabre Rock. Tonight we are having dinner um, basically right over here we're gonna take a ferry there 60 different islands that make up the British Virgin Islands we then headed to get dinner at Leverick Bay. Before we got in our ferry, we were looking at the mega-sized harpoon fish that were swimming around waiting to be fed. It was a really cool experience to see all of them through this super clear crystal water. There are ferries that run to Sabre Rock from Virgin Gorda, so if you want to visit Sabre Rock for dinner and you aren't staying there, you can still take a free shuttle provided by Sabre Rock. On our way to Leverick Bay, we took in the amazing sunset. We arrived to Leverick Bay, which is a marina, resort, beachfront. There is a restaurant upstairs and beach bar where you can grab a drink and look at the amazing view. We sat upstairs at the restaurant and overlooked the sunset. This restaurant was delicious. The food reminded me of a really good home-cooked meal, a must-stop when you are in the British Virgin Islands. And here I tried my first painkiller. We just sat down for dinner at Leverick's is a hotel and bar. And I'm looking extremely glowy. I don't know if it was my facial today, but oh, isn't my skin looking glowy? Yep. Down. I ordered a painkiller, which is a famous drink. It was made on one of the islands here in the BDI. So it's my duty to try it while I'm here. And we're going to start with some cocktails and then look at the menu for food. But so far this place is so cute. We're on like a little terrace with an amazing view of the water, all of the boats, and it's just super scenic. Um, Voila. Voila. That smells amazing. <laughs> Fresh catch of the day, a wahoo. And he ordered the shrimp curry, which looks so good. And I'm loving the painkiller. Maybe I'll order another one. But it's like a coconut rum, creamy with a lot of spice. So if you like rum punch, you'll love this. <laughs> this is gonna be our ride at 10.30. We are going to Bale Nut Bay. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We're having breakfast and today we're headed to Oil Nut Bay, which is a, another port with a beachfront. We're going to check it out, see how it is, have lunch over there, and come back over here for dinner. We have our food. Again, we ordered the pancakes because they were so good. Little eggs. And we ordered some steamed veggies. Then we made our way to Oil Nut Bay, which is a community in the British Virgin Islands. Here you'll find beautiful residential homes and villas to rent that range from one to four plus bedrooms. Explore Oil Nut Bay in this really cool car. We toured around the property to see how gorgeous it is. The beach and pool are private to the residences and people who are renting a villa, but you can come and enjoy Oil Nut Bay Marina, which is home to Nova, the restaurant that serves amazing handcrafted cocktails with a awesome list of sushi. We're having lunch at Nova in Oil Nut Bay. It's right off the docks where we were tanning earlier, and we are ordering some lunch. We got the tuna tartare and a croquette. So we ordered some tuna and a tuna poke bowl. I've been so fresh and colorful. It's so pretty. The food here, again, is amazing. We've had so many good food here and we're going to dig. After lunch, we hung out by the amazing infinity pool and had a few more margaritas to take the view in. This by far was an amazing way to spend an afternoon looking at this amazing unobstructed view of nature. Good morning, everyone. Today we are doing our exploring day. We are doing a full tour of Virgin Gorda, ending with the most iconic place, 
on the island which is the baths it's a park with huge boulders it kind of looks out of this world so i'm super excited to see that so we're headed off we are leaving saber rock we are taking all the luggage with us and we are transferring to scrub island where we are staying tonight so we are experiencing two different hotels while we are here We started our tour of Virgin Gorda at Gun Creek. Our driver was a local and he showed us all the best places in Virgin Gorda. We saw some cows just casually laying on the street. And then he took us up to an amazing viewpoint, which also has a restaurant, which is known for their amazing barbecue. Hog heaven. Hog heaven. Yeah. And the ribs. The ribs. Yeah. Ribs in the view. Barbecue ribs. Yeah. And the view is amazing. So this is one of the highest points. Right. Of the, of the island. The views were incredible from here and we got to spot out Mosquito Island and Necker Island from this viewpoint. This is Savannah Beach. It's a natural beach on the smallest point of the island. The view here is absolutely gorgeous. There is a little parking spot where you can park and take some photos, but wow, this is absolutely beautiful. And our last stop of the day was the Baths, which is a national park in the British Virgin Islands. We have made it to the Baths. It is a national park, so we are walking down to the beach. And why it's famous is because there are like these huge boulders in the water, which is really unique for a Caribbean island to have like, just like rocks everywhere. everywhere. Yep. Also, what I found really interesting is that there's cactuses, cacti everywhere as well, which again, is kind of different for a Caribbean island. As you can see, look how big this is. This is crazy. It's just so interesting that there's just rocks everywhere. Are coming down here. I would recommend some better shoes because it's kind of like steep. a steep, stony hike. Slippery. Could be slippery. These are not the best shoes for me. The best and way to the best way to get here is probably by boat or catamaran. Yes. We are at the crossroads. Devil's Bay or the Cave of the Bath. We have made it. It's stunning. Look at that water. Look at these boulders. What the heck? Look at this. This is incredible. So we've made it to Devil's Bay and it's stunning. This is probably one of the most gorgeous beaches I've ever been to. And there's absolutely no one here except Al. <laughs> Al, maybe like two other people are here. It's super untouched and these boulders are just so unique. So we've been swimming around. We do not have the right shoes at all. It's really, really hard to kind of walk around over there. So if you do come, be sure to bring like a water shoe, something that can get wet but has a lot of grip because it is kind of challenging in my like horrible flip flops that are falling apart anyway. And definitely bring like a backpack because it's kind of hard also to carry a purse and climb up some stairs. So we're enjoying and I don't want to leave this park at all. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are three beaches that make up the Bass National Park. There's the Bass, there's Devil's Bay, and there is Stony Bay. This beach in particular is Devil's Bay. The water here was the bluest water I've ever seen. This is a must stop. You have to visit this while you are in the British Virgin Islands. This is a national park and the admission is $3 in cash. If you don't have cash, it is a $20 minimum on a credit card. Devil's Bay Beach and the Bass Beach, you'll have to walk through an obstacle course through these boulders. It will be a challenging way to get to the beaches, but it's the only way by foot. Discovering this like crazy obstacle course and all these boulders. We're gonna head this way to see where it leads. It's bad. Now I definitely recommend different shoes. These are completely the wrong shoe. <laughs> this is a dirty. Here, water. It's a good sign. And we also saw a sign. So I think we're in the right place. So we found a rope and a ladder. I think we need to go down, but look at these rocks. It's like, 
Making our way. So you'll find these green arrows that makes you go in the right direction. And we have this little obstacle course to get through. And then I think we're done with it. We discovered this stunning cave. We just came from this rope. And this is awesome. Wow. And this is the beach that you see after the obstacle course. Cheers out. We deserve some painkillers after that. So we made our way back up where we started the hike and we are at the restaurant. It's called the restaurant on top of the bass. So it overlooks the boulders. It's really, really cool. We ordered some sushi, chicken sandwich, and some painkillers. So we're gonna drink this before we head to our next hotel. Was it worth it though? Oh, the views, the Devil's Bay Beach. Was amazing. Was amazing. The water was so clear. And I like can't. All the rocks and boulders behind. It was incredible. I want to go back. Wanted some sushi. I love how there's sushi here. And that chicken looks delicious. Oh my god. After our exploring day, we took the public ferry from Virgin Gorda to Beef Island, the same ferry port where we came in from the airport to transfer to our next ferry to Scrub Island, the next resort that we were staying at. We then arrived to Scrub Island. On the island is home to Scrub Island Resort. They have villas. They also have rooms overlooking the marina. A beautiful view when you wake up. We headed to our villa that we were staying at. It was a four bedroom villa. It deserves a room tour. Let me show you what it looked like. After a long day of touring, we just settled into our room and freshened up for dinner. I can't wait to share with you what this villa looks like, but we headed to dinner on property for a nice dinner. Oh, for Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, we checked into this epic villa. I can't. Cannot wait to show you. It's four bedrooms, about 4,000 square feet. It's three levels, so it's quite big. I will, I will show you a small little tour of it, but last night we were so tired. We went to dinner here at Cardamom, which is their fine dining restaurant. So now that it's morning and the light is shining, I can share with you this a beautiful, beautiful villa that we're staying in. If you come to Scrub Island, you can stay in guest room. So if you don't have a big group of people and just want a room with a balcony overlooking the marina. So we have this gorgeous entryway. This is the Drake Villa. We have the kitchen over here. Then we have a dining, living room, a gorgeous patio. Let me show you. It has an infinity pool and we have an amazing view overlooking. Stunning. There's some seating over here and it's been so windy. <laughs> These chairs keep falling in the water last night so I already took this one out. It came back in the water again so and we also have some outdoor seating over here. A three floor so the other bedroom and bathroom is upstairs and the other bedroom and bath is downstairs. Off the entry we have the largest bedroom and bathroom. This bathroom has an amazing feature, outdoor shower, overlooking the water. Like how beautiful is that? Extra large soaking tub in here. And this is the, oh. Hello. They are so nice. They keep calling and asking if we are okay. Everything's perfect, honestly. And I will show you the other, the other bedroom on this floor. Yes, and this is the other bedroom with bathroom and of course, private balcony. So yesterday we did get a tour of the island. So if you are staying here, not only do you have the pool in your villa or get the pool at the marina, you also have a beachfront area, which is beautiful. We're gonna have lunch there. The rain has passed and now we are headed to the beach.
One love. Respect. <laughs> So I'm about to have a 60 minute massage. How dreamy is this treatment room? It's so gorgeous. Even have some beautiful flowers to look at during your treatment. So 60 minutes, gonna get ready. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. Something about the sun in the Caribbean just makes us so tired. So we actually ordered room service from the restaurant here. We ordered a bunch of things. Let me show you what we ordered. We have a burger, we have some coconut shrimp, Caesar salad, and we also got some pasta. Enjoy dinner here. It's a beautiful space, so why not enjoy it? And we have been watching some tea. We're just getting into the show. It's really good. So yeah, we are going to enjoy. Good morning, everyone. We are celebrating our last day with some champagne. We had a really fun morning because we drank some champagne overlooking the view for our last morning here in the BVI. We had our COVID test this morning to head back to the US, Puerto Rico, and we got our results in literally maybe like 30 minutes. So it was very easy, very straightforward. And we are all ready to head back to. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about visiting the BVI, let me know in the comments down below. We had an amazing time. I love how like natural the islands are. It's very untouched. Definitely get that feeling of paradise here. So I honestly cannot wait to be back. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.